Hello gents, welcome back to Dutch Modeling with another inbox review. And it's a little bit a different kit again. It's gonna be the Bison 2 15 cm 34 3 sorry, Ausführung Panzerkampfwagen 2 or yeah, well the 15 cm Bison on the Panzer 2 chassis. It's a Dragon Smart kit from as usual, the box is a little bit dented, but that's my own fault. Uh, the box hard looks good. It's a full start again. Here we got some uh, camo schemes going from just Dunkel Gulp with some Dunkel Gulp and dark choco brown camos and the greyish. Uh, this is 2011 kit. The kit number is 6440. Here we got some cat drawings. We highlighted the PE and the DS tracks. Here some close ups, extra PE parts. And on the back, more detail shots. Razor edge, no clue yet what that means. But we'll see about that. More detailing how the gun is made up and all the other compartments of the fighting compartment. So let's open this up and see what we got. The DS tracks in two parts, as you can see. I'll take one out in a second, we'll just put it inside first. Go through everything, the instructions which I will leave here, and then a couple of screws you can go inside as well. And then here's a box, and here's something in, and this is a part of a kit, so I'll have to check where this came from. To start with the instructions, as usual, the Odd size instruction from Dragon with tons of blue, which means it's a lot for your spare box. You can see twice the DS tracks and a little bit of photo edge and a metal barrel. That's always nice. Now let's open it up. And of course, <coughs> they start with the, the wheels, suspension parts. You can see swing arms here, the position of the swing arms, how it should look like. Let me see. Even you got different swing arms and the exact positioning of each swim arm, swing arm is as it should be located over here. <coughs> Construction of the idler and the sprocket wheel. Here's the connection of the idler, the sprocket wheel, the ex external wheels or road wheels. The bump stops, yes they are, should be placed down here. Front plate. Mm, back plate. It's the towing hook, some small parts. Construction of the seat and something else, no clue what this is. Uh, starting on the work on the interior. It's also shots. And sheet goes in. This kind of looks like a. Well, this is the inside of the hatch, the driver's hatch. This is drives yeah, armor couple part for the vision port for the driver. This was where the uh, bow gun, machine gun, should be, but there isn't. Uh, more internal works here. The uh, armored parts go on top. Lights go on, etc. Next step, the armored side plates. Oh, sorry for that. Armored side plates, uh, 
armor, the ammo storage, fire suppression system, tools that go on the side here, the antenna that goes up. Mm, this is the uh, top plate with the uh, mud guard, so to say. The fenders go on the back. Protection of the radio. Here the armor side plates with the storage and everything go on. Radio goes on. These will be probably something like a radio as well. Uh, storage bins go in and everything. Construction of the. Let me see. This will be G. G is. I have no clue what G is. Okay, this is strange. Construction of something. It looks like, uh, look, judging by this here. Oh, you can see it, sorry. Judging by this, I think it's some kind of uh, ammo storage device. It will probably be this here. But they label this G. This is not very clearly, to be honest. Oh well, you build this thing. Can't tell, really tell you what it is yet. Then you're gonna build the jack. Then you build. This looks like the engine compartment. Which will be the engine compartment of the engine deck here. Muffler on the back, jack goes on there. And then this is the engine compartment. This is this. Some sides go on here. Engine deck opener closed. Oh, this is G here. It goes on. It doesn't say G, but this is P12. This is P12, so it must be this. Uh, that goes on the engine deck. <coughs> there will probably will be ammo storage. And then this construction on the gun starts. One of the sidearms with all the levers and elevators and how the thing is called. The other arm here. All small pieces go on. Put together here. This is the uh, barrel with the breech, and the breech block and everything reconstructed. This is the uh, rail the barrel lies on for the uh, recoil. It's built here. Then the barrel touches, it will be put on the rail and they will put on the uh, mount. I'm guessing it's called a mount. Then the armor plating protected for the crew is added on as well. And then everything gets put on the uh, hole. And then the uh, two part, and that's still stands framed. The two part uh, magic, no, not magic. Did. Damn, sorry. Two part the S tracks, that was what I was looking for. For some reason, it's two parts. Don't know why, but it's a two part uh, the S tracks that got me mounted last. Then you get the color schemes. We got Libya from DAC from 1942. Another, it's actually almost the same, but this one has camo on it. Uh, it's the 707 DAC, 707 DAC, this is the 708 DAC. This is the 708 DAC L Alamein. This is an unidentified unit from the DAC North Africa. And these are two unidentified units from Germany 1942. So. And that's it again for the instructions. Now let's see the, the asterisks first. Because I'm kind of finding this strange, to be honest. I'm going to take one out. If it likes to work with me, it probably won't. Because 
for some reason, as you can see, it's connected by Sprugate. Why they did it like this, I have no clue. And I think it's strange. I've never seen this before. So I have to cut it out and just glue it together again for some stupid reason. And it really it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I'm just going to try if I see if there's some cleanup on this side as well. Let's see if there's any. Well, it looks when you connect it, it does. It doesn't seem to. Oh no, it does fit. That's no problem. So that's no problem, but still. The reason why they did this is beyond me, because they don't need to, it's just stupid. Maybe for the, uh, so they have two more pieces to their kit, I don't know, I hard to believe that's the true reason. I can get it back like this. Nice and soft, it's that, uh, that's true. Lower hole. What we got here? Oh, very light texturing. The bolt and rivet details are very good. On the sides as well as that on the bottom with the hatches there. Yeah, it looks good. As you will see yourself. Very sharp detail and on the sides. So at first glance I haven't seen any weld details yet. So to be honest I don't know how much welding there would be on a Pencil 2 chassis because I haven't done a Pencil 2 before. I haven't seen a chassis. Uh, that I will do later. And there's a big sprue bag, and I see that Dragon is going. I don't know how long they are doing this, but I haven't seen this much before. Putting a lot of sprues in one bag. This is one bag, and there are three sprues in that. And that's not normally their way to do things, to be honest. Mm. It looks all very crisp. Looks like something broke off here. So maybe that's the piece I found. Uh, could that be? Yes, because the bags now all have all kind of small holes in them, so these very small parts can fall out. That's not nice. It's all flash free as far as I can tell now. No annoying ejector ping marks. Detail very nicely done, especially again on the on the leaf springs might have been a little bit more because on the side you can see a lot. It's almost you can feel it, but you cannot see it that well. Um, I don't think a wash will pick this up. It's too too soft. Otherwise, I don't see any problem so far. So let's have a close up. Let's see those. You can see. You almost can't see the uh, individual leaves, the leaf spring, which normally in dragon you can. Much more pronounced than this. And all the small stuff as you can see. Turn around. This is the uh, armor side. Yeah, and they're on the inside, they're clean. No. Inject the pin marks there. 
There's some of the ammo storage. Front uh, the front laces. So shame about the uh, lace frames because, like I said, normally Dragon they are very pristine, but these are detail on these are almost not visible. Uh, three small sprues R E R D and R B. Uh, no clue why like this. All small parts. Looking very good. Radios here. So this is a radio. This is an aerial, I think. Looks like an aerial, but they won't have used this one. So. Vision blocks for a command scoopla, which this doesn't have, so I probably won't use those as it well. It's the antenna mount. You can see, and these are all very pristine. You can get a little bit closer. You can see two different surfaces. And then here you can really see a lot, just a lot, which also is flash free, so it looks good. And the last from that block, where's my pointer, yeah. the exhaust, it's a big exhaust, damn. two parts, it's a shame, oh something falls off. It's the second part that falls off. This one's all ready to fall off as well. Where does this belong? No clue. Well, yet another part that falls off. The seat, this looks like being a uh, jack block. Protection systems, hatches. Uh, mud guards. I never know the real name for those things. I just keep calling them mud guards or fenders or whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, gun looks very nice. Some internal detail on this part. This is the gun shield. The fin parts like the antennas here are very clean. Will be shit to clean up though. Another antenna mount there. Yeah. Looks good. The back of the, the seat or the back of the chair here with some crunching, crunched leather, wearing leather detailing. Let's see where I'll it. Here's all the other sides, so I turn this around. So you get an indication how the actual kit looks. There's some detailing, some spring detailing on the back of the seat, which looks nice. It's the block. Can very nicely model everything. All depends, of course, on the uh, if there will be any fit issues, which I cannot tell you yet. You have multiple sprues in one bag. I'm guessing it will be normal for Dragon to do this. Gun parts, the mount or the legs i don't I actually know if there is an official name for that uh, shovel tools here all small parts it belongs to the uh, sig 33 detailing here from rivets 
bolts. It's very nicely done. Here are teeth on top of here. It's looking very good. Here's some more. Yeah, on the side of the arms, I just kind of keep them calling them arms. It's very detailing is also very nice. There's a lot of detailing on the back sides here. The quality of the uh, molding is definitely there. You can see this is one side. I'll flip it around for you. And you can see the other side. As you can see again. Detailing is uh, the detailing is good. The quality of the molding is good, so there's no problem. But to be honest, it's kind of what you expect if you buy a dragon kit. Ah, oh, more parts of the gun. This is the rail, sides of the rails, aiming parts. All kinds of stuff which I cannot name for you. I'm just going to show them to you. That's the best to do. Again, the bolting and the riveting detail is uh, outstanding on both sides again. As you can see, let's turn it around because there's detailing on the other side as well. So you can decide for yourself what you think of it. As I normally do. Let's see, we got fire extinguishers, tools. Barrel cleaning rod, uh, more tools, so actually this is almost the same, just a different kind of tools, probably uh, this is with, with uh, two clamps, this is without two clamps, so there, oh yeah of course, we'll come to that later. <laughs> So you got a chance without or with two clamps, so you give, they give you that opportunity to choose between those, which is a good thing. I see headlights, direct light, horn, rear lights, all kinds of small stuff here, and more parts on this side. The Extinguisher with the all the uh, things on looks very nice. You got one with a with the normal hole in the back, and one that's completely solid. Detailing on that one is great, it really is. So, I'm gonna show you. This is the one uh, with all the clamps attached. And here's the one without any clamps attached. And then here we got some more parts, general parts, but it looks fit.
There's the horn. Even that is clean, no flash. So if they do a good, great job on that, that's for sure. They're just getting it back in the back. Sometimes is a crime. Uh, two more bags, multiple screws of course, and then we got still the PE to come. These look like ammo holders, empty ammo holders, molded in one piece, looking very nice. And why I now think these are ammo holders is because I will show you in a second. See, very nicely done. Because on this, you got the holders actually with still the shells in it. So, ammo casing next to it and another. Oh no, this is a gas mask canister okay, for gas masks. And here actually is one piece missing as you can see that's in the box. I found first, so it belongs to this one. And as you can see here, it's either basically the same holders, but then with a shell in it. Also molded in one piece, quite nice and solid. Ammo casings, which are empty or for hollow. But you got the lids here, so they can become solid as well. So that's a nice thing. It would be nice if you had some loose shell casings then. I haven't seen them yet, but I still have a spot to go. And uh, this is one and the same, as you can see. And um, I think that if I remember right, this was the idler. And strange shape to be honest. And more of the swing arms with more of the not barely visible Leaf spring suspension, which really is a shame. And a, I'm guessing a uh, engine deck part. So I'm going to show you one. And again, the you can see there the no sides. Detailing of the leaf spring suspension, which I think is the same. Then the straight, strange shape of the, uh, I think that was the return roller to be honest. And that really is it for this screw. So. Let's go back and then the finals back with sprues. You'll see at least two doubles, so this will it will be the road wheels and stuff, and well, we didn't have them yet, so it must be. So we got four sprues, which two are the same, so we're going to put those aside. Start with the small one first. Uh, road wheels, uh, hook, pole, tools, machine gun, uh, Another fire extinguisher, headlight, uh, gas mask canister, and that really steering wheel. That really is it. Not a lot. Is this? Oh, this is a. Uh, a think I'm not sure. It looks. Oh no, it would probably will be just a headlight. Yeah, this will be just a headlight. Let's see you. And this is with the clamps on the tools. The machine gun, which is picked up pretty nicely. And there's another light extinguisher. And then the wheels. So. And like I said, we got two of those, so this can go back. 
And then we got this one, the bigger one, with more road wheels, the uh, sprocket wheel. I wonder what these are. Looks very strange, and I got three, I got three more. Uh, extra bolts on the side here, you can uh, chisel off and glue on. The uh, uh, transmission covers here. And more wheels, with, which I didn't notice before. I took them, I didn't, but it's uh, with. Oh, the rims are actually uh, welded, and there is text on the rubber. Uh, again, spring leaf spring suspension, not very prominent leaf springs. And that's really it. On the sprocket wheel, on the inside there, for uh, ejector pin marks. I don't think you will be able to see them because you glue them together, of course. But that needs, yeah, you won't be able to see them. There's a little bit of flight on one of your turn rollers. And there's also some text on return rollers as well. Oh no, they're two different uh, sprocket wheels. Yeah, yeah that's cool. It must be different somewhere. You probably can choose an instruction that didn't really look at that. The way they are more... That's cool. They will be easier to clean up than the... Normally you would see a sprocket wheel. Because the way they are put on, so you see? The sprue gate are strangely... And there's the second one. You see the difference now in them? The uh, bolts and the rivets. There's one of the wheels. Here's the close up so you can see everything. It's nicely done. And there's some small parts pump stops, vision blocks. Turn around. Welding detail there, which looks very nicely. Bolts there. So that's that. And of course, we had one of those already, so we can go also back in the back. Uh, oh, no, I thought I was done. I'm not, sorry. I forgot the. Uh, let's say. Not so much dragon card. There we got the uh, Cartograph decals, which look very good. If, I would almost say, of course. Let's see if I can get the glaring on it. Bacon. See for yourself. I don't know if the sun picture you can. Well, if not, you can't believe me, they look good. A small alum aluminum or aluminium barrel, and it's even got the rifling inside. I hope you can see. So that's very cool. And then you got one sheet of uh, photo edge, mainly with uh, engine grills. And two clamps and radio parts. I will take it out for you, but it's very thin. I felt that already. It's very thin. It will bend very easily. Oh, you see, I already bent <laughs> just by take just by taking it out of the bag. I already bent it, so it looks good, but it's thin. Very thin. Don't know where they make it, um, who the manufacturer is for it, but I'll put it back. Luckily, it's not too much. So I think that was it. Yeah, looks like it. I'm forgetting anything else. Well, what do I think of the? Bison 2. First of all, 
probably is my best review, but it's bloody hot in here at the moment, and I'm kind of look hard time having. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time to concentrate. So, but doing this with, normally without any uh, cutting in and doing some editing. What I do is what you get. So, the uh, bison. Again, something different you not see every day, and a uh, curious subject. Being a dragon kid, uh, newer dragon kid, I don't really doubt about uh, the f fitting of it. I, I'm guessing there won't be a lot of fit issues. Uh, what I do find uh, strange is the, I would almost say bad way they cast the leaf spring suspension because I got multiple dragons and most of them they look just great. You really have the individual springs leafed inter uh, intertwined. But you can't see it here at the sides at all. So you're not left with much of a choice other than applying some nice mud and dust to obscure view. And the two parts DS tracks. I don't really get that. I don't know if that will uh, bring any problems with it. We have to see the moment that I build it, which I still don't know when that is. So, well, that concludes my review of this Bison 2 from Dragon. I hope you liked it. Let me know. If you got some more info for me, let me know as well. And I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.